Comet C-2017K2, PANSTARS, is making its way toward the inner solar system. Astronomers first spotted the approaching comet in 2017 using the PANSTARS survey instrument in Hawaii. At the time, they said it was the farthest active inbound comet they'd yet seen. It was between the orbits of Saturn and Uranus when they first saw it, but it's heading toward its closest approach to Earth on July 14, 2022. The comet will be closest to the Sun several months later, on December 19, 2022. If you have a small telescope, you should be able to spot the comet throughout the summer. In 2017, Hubble imagery determined that the comet's coma, or fuzzy atmosphere, likely includes oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, all turning from solid to gas as the comet warmed. However, this comet was already active in 2017. The Hubble Space Telescope took an image of the comet looking like a fuzzy snowball while it was still in the outer solar system. The comet appears to have a large nucleus, and it shows a huge cometary atmosphere or coma. Research with the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope CFHT, infers the comet nucleus to have a radius between 9 to 50 miles so there is a chance the nucleus could be as large as C-1995-01, Hale-Bob, however, research with the Hubble Space Telescope HST, estimates the nucleus to have a circular equivalent diameter of less than 11 miles. On September 17, 2020, morphological studies of the inner coma, observed on September 12, 2020, were reported, noting that two jet stream structure were emitted from the nucleus and, as well, that the length of the tail was about 500,000 miles long. The comet will be within 5 A.U, 750 million kilometers, of Earth by 11 January 2022.1121 Around July 6, 2022, the comet will cross the celestial equator, and then on July 14, 2022, it will pass 1.8 A.U, 270 million kilometers, from Earth and shine around 9.0 magnitude making it a decent binoculars object that IT will reach perihelion on December 19, 2022, close to the orbit of Mars, and should not be visible to naked eye at 8.0 magnitude. After it passes us in July, C-2017 K2 will continue on toward perihelion, which is its closest pass by the Sun, before heading back out toward deep space. Comets tend to behave unpredictably the closer they come to the Sun. This one could suddenly become more active and brighter, or it could break apart and disappear from view altogether. Whatever happens, this visit will likely be our only chance to get acquainted with this comet, its orbit is so long that it won't be back for a few million years. If you really like our video feel free to support us with a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe our channel Cosmobytes and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future.